Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem eleven in chapter eleven. In this chapter, we talk about the angular momentum. In this system, we can see at initial a person is stand at the center of merry-go-round. The mass of the person is given, and also the radius of merry-go-round. And the initial momentum of a ratio is given, and also the initial angular velocity omega naught is given. Now we need to find the final uh, angular velocity when this person walk from the center to the end, right? So in this one, we can consider during the process the person is working. That means no external force act on this system, so the no torque will be considered. So the angular momentum is conserved. So we consider initial angular momentum is just uh, come from the merry-go-round. So use the i times omega. Now, when the person works from center to the end, the momentum of a ratio changed. We should consider the momentum of a ratio for the merry-go-round and m times r square. M times r square, and then times the final angular velocity. In this one, we can say we get a function for angular velo uh, velocity at the final, and then in this one, we can input the known quantities, get the final answer there. And the second problem asks us to find the rotational kinetic energy at the initial and the final. So initial is easy, it's just one half i omega square. And the final is we just consider the momentum of a ratio at the final, so we consider the i naught. This is uh, from merry-go-round, and this m r square comes from the person, right? And then times the final angular velocity, then we get the final answer there. Thank you.